Okay, first things first, the butter. We are going to put a half stick of melted butter. Most recipes only call for two tablespoons. This calls for four, which is a half a stick, quarter cup. Half, half stick of melted butter. To that we are going to add our granulated sugar, our one tablespoon of cornstarch, need other. Let me get all that. We don't want to lose any cornstarch. And our two eggs. Use room temperature eggs when you're baking. Do you all know that? Room temperature eggs while baking. I can't remember why. Just do it. Okay, we're going to mix this all together. Oh, that extra butter really makes a difference, guys. Half teaspoon of vanilla. I use my homemade vanilla. I made this last year and gave away as Christmas gifts. Ooh, people love that. And then three quarters cup of caro syrup. Now I know this caro syrup isn't necessarily the best thing for you. I use it once a year, so it's not that big of a deal. Having one piece of pie a year with some caro syrup is not going to kill me. We're gonna mix that all together. So we have kind of a custard here now. We are going to add our one cup of pecans. You can use chopped, whole. I'm using whole. They kind of look better on top if you ask me, but use whatever you have. And if you want to add extra, you can add a few extra. I wouldn't go over a half cup extra on the pecans. Okay, that part is done. Pie shell. I know I'm being pathetic. I'm using a store-bought pie shell. Going to just crimp the edges to make it look kind of pretty. Okay, our pie shell looks good. We are going to pour this deliciousness into our crust and bake it at 350 for about 40 to 50 minutes. It's going to puff up and that's what we're going to take note. It should puff up and be nice and golden brown on top. Okay, we are at 40 minutes. Let's look at that baby. It is puffy very puffy see that nice brown i'm gonna let it go a little bit longer five minutes i even see it puffing the 